Chapter 8. Put the trumpet to your lips. Something like an eagle is over Yahweh's house, because they have broken my covenant and rebelled against my law. They cry to me, My God, we, Israel, acknowledge you. Israel has cast off that which is good. The enemy will pursue him. They have set up kings, but not by me. They have made princes, and I didn't approve. Of their silver and their gold they have made themselves idols, that they may be cut off. Let Samaria throw out his calf idol. My anger burns against them. How long will it be until they are capable of purity? For this is even from Israel. The workmen made it, and it is no God. Indeed, the calf of Samaria shall be broken in pieces. For they sow the wind, and they will reap the whirlwind. He has no standing grain. The stalk will yield no head. If it does yield, strangers will swallow it up. Israel is swallowed up. Now they are among the nations like a worthless thing. For they have gone up to Assyria like a wild donkey wandering alone. Ephraim has hired lovers for himself. But although they sold themselves among the nations, I will now gather them, and they begin to waste away because of the oppression of the king of mighty ones. Because Ephraim has multiplied altars for sinning, they became for him altars for sinning. I wrote for him the many things of my law, that they were regarded as a strange thing. As for the sacrifices of my offerings, they sacrificed meat and eat it, but Yahweh doesn't accept them. Now he will remember their iniquity and punish their sins. They will return to Egypt. For Israel has forgotten his maker and built palaces, and Judah has multiplied fortified cities. But I will send a fire on his cities, and it will devour its fortresses.